Hey there, welcome back. Uh, quick announcement, I started another channel, it's called Off The Air. Um, it's a channel where I just talk about whatever. Uh, personal stuff, ideas, things, things I see on the internet. Uh, just pretty much anything and everything that I just want to talk about. Or show, or... And all that good stuff there. So, with that being said... Let's get started here. Today we're going to be talking about Zoran OS. Education edition. Zoran OS has uh, redid some of their website. Um, they've added uh, 17.1. And we're going to be looking at 17.1 education. So, let's read a little bit off the website here. Um, educational apps for every class bring lessons to life with a huge library of educational apps and games in Zorn OS Education. It includes software to help teach math, science, geography, languages, music, and other subjects. Interactive apps let you, your students of all ages grasp new con concepts easier and help make learning more exciting and engaging. Teaching coding, scratch, gdevelop, fritzing, Builder, LibreCAD, and more. Your old PCs made new again. All right. We've streamlined Zarn OS to work on computers as old as 15 years. Keep using your PC for longer to save money on upgrades. That way, you can spend your resources on things that matter most. Just for requirements. CPU, 1 GHz dual core, Intel AMD 64-bit processor. RAM, one and a half gigabytes. Storage, 15 gigabyte for the core, 24 gigabyte for education, or 40 gigabyte for pro. Display, 1024 by 768 resolution. Mac computers with Apple Silicon processors are not currently capable of running Zorn OS natively. Chromebooks. Some Chromebook devices can't install Zorn OS due to software limitations imposed by Google on Chromebook manufacturers. Now this is an Ubuntu slash Debian distribution. And if I can remember the link, there's a, uh, a YouTuber that's gotten to work on her Chromebooks. There's a uh, website that she learned how to do it on. And I will go back and see if I can find the link for it. And I will link, put the link down below. They do not currently have support for Zorn OS for Raspberry Pi computers. However, we plan to create a version for Raspberry Pi 4 and 400 in the future. So those are all the that they don't support. Let's get into uh, what they do support in the apps and all that good stuff. Apps and games. Alternative to Windows apps. A list of cross-platform replacement of Windows apps which work in Zorin OS. Some apps are currently not able to run Zorin OS on and Linux or as web apps in a web browser. For the best experience, we recommend that you use alternatives to these apps which work cross-platform. The following are a few examples of cross-platform alternatives to Windows apps. Most of them can be installed from the software store in Zorin OS. So you have the uh, Ubuntu repositories. You can uh, count on what they're saying there. Um, out of the repositories, you have LibreOffice. Right on the web, you have Microsoft 365. Uh, WPS Office, SoftMaker, Free Office, Google Docs, and there's a uh, another program that's called Only Office. You can get over at the flat over at Flat Hubs if you uh, so want to do that. Uh, Microsoft Outlook, Evolution, pre-installed Thunderbird, pre-installed in Zorn OS Lite, Mailspring. So let's look at the thing here. Marked with the symbol. Uh, many of the alternative apps listed below are free and released under open source licenses. Marked with the green symbol thing there. Switching to open source software can help you reduce or even eliminate licensing costs for the free software use. Okay. Evolution, Thunderbird, Mailspring. Microsoft Outlook in a web browser. Hydri, hopefully I said that right. And Bluemail. 
Um, you might be able to get these in Electron, uh, or, uh, web apps wrapped in Electron. So check, uh, Mod Hub out, see if you can get that, because I do know, where was it? It was down below. Uh, Microsoft Teams in a web browser. Zoom. And I think there's a uh, Linux version of Zoom. Jetsy Meet in a web browser. Jammy. Google Meet in a web browser. Skype, which I do know there's a version for Linux. Blue Jeans, I'm not, I'm not sure about actually on that one. Microsoft OneNote. LogSec, pre-installed in Zorin OS Pro. Zorinal Plus Plus, pre-installed in Zorin OS Pro. You can just download that straight from the repositories if you're on the light version. Um, anything they have here, you can install from the repositories if it's in the repositories. The beauty about Zorin OS, before I go any further, the beauty about Zorin OS is they already do the work for you and install it. So it uh, comes out of the box for you. Now, your mileage is going to vary between which version, version you have. So... Microsoft Publisher, LibreOffice, Draw, Scribus, pre-installed in Zorin OS Pro, Adobe Acrobat, uh, Vinci Document Viewer, Nitro PDF, LibreOffice, Draw, and there are several other PDF viewers you can get and download from the repositories as well. You don't have to uh, stick with LibreOffice, Draw, Autodesk, AutoCAD, and there's a bunch of CADs out there, uh, like FreeCAD, LibreCAD, um, Autodesk, AutoCAD, there might be a, an Electron version of that. DraftSite, BricsCAD, and SketchUp. I believe there's a version of SketchUp. No, I don't know for sure. I'd have to look into that, but there, mm, I want to say there might be a version for Linux, but I really, really don't know. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a uh, open source, open source uh, software version of SketchUp, if not the actual SketchUp. Um, graphics and reading, Adobe Photoshop, the GNU Im Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP for short, Krita, Pinta, and Photopea. Now, they say in web browser, but if you go over to FlatHub, there is a version of a flat pack of Photopea that's, uh, they use Electron to wrap it, and there are ads on that too, so just so you know, if you don't like ads, Photopea is not for you, because both the web... Both the web and the uh, Electron app of ads. Adobe Lightroom, uh, a Linux version is Dark Cable and Raw Therapy. Sketchbook, you have Krita and MyPaint, Amazon Kindle, Kindle Cloud Reader, and a web browser. Um, Fully 8, pre installed in Zorin OS Pro, and Calibre. And Calibre is a ebook server for your .pub, uh, PDF files. Um, and for your RSS feeds, and uh, you can go into it and set it up to download news from like um, New York Times, uh, places like that. Heck, I even get one from uh, the news from uh, a newspaper from uh, up north in my state, the major uh, state paper. Adobe Premiere Pro, Hayden Live, Cinema 4D, Autodesk Maya. And Foundry Mo Moto. Adobe After Effects. You have Natron, Blender. Um, there's like several different versions you can use. Go ahead and pause this for a second. Okay, for fo for video editing, you have Shotcut, Lightworks, Blowblade, OpenShot, DaVinci Resolve, which is proprietary and only works with the NVIDIA graphics card on Linux. So if you have NVIDIA, you can install DaVinci Resolve. Uh, Pitabi, Hayden Live, you have Blender, and Avid, Avid Mux. I think that's how you spell that. spell that. I think that's how you say that. All Beaten Live, you have Ador for your DAW, um, FL Studio, LMMS on Linux, Adobe Audition, you have Bitwig Studio and Reaper. I believe Reaper's proprietary. And Bitwig Studio too. Um, Streamlabs Desktop, OBS Studio, XSplit Broadcaster, and this is another Linux uh, broadcasting software. For some reason, it's just right over the top of my head. I can't remember that one. I don't use it very often. Um, for Apple Music, you have Cider and Apple Music in a web browser. Uh, I believe there's 
couple of Electron apps you can download that also work with Apple Music. Uh, system tools, cross-platform app, Microsoft Phone Link, Zorn Connect, Remote Desktop, Remina, TeamViewer, Chrome Remote Desktop, and Google Chrome, AnyDesk, and No Machine. And there's like uh, well, several others as well, honestly. Microsoft Hyper-V, you got VirtualBox, Boxes, VMware, Station Player, and Workstation Pro. You also have, if you so wanted to download and install it. Oops, I misspelled it. You have Virtual Manager for KVM, and that's what that looks like. Emu and KVM, slash KVM, excuse me. You don't have to stick with uh, VirtualBox, Boxes, VMware, State, Workstation Player, or Workstation Pro. Uh, VirtualBox with uh, Kimu and KVM works just as good, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Internet Explorer, which has been dead for years. I don't know why they put that there, but anyways. Uh, you have Mozilla Firefox, pre-installed, Microsoft Edge. You have a Google Chrome version. You have Chromium, the Google Chrome, which you can also get besides these. Uh, Brave, Vivaldi, and Opera. All native for Linux. Um, other apps. You can search for alternative to many other apps on alternative2.net. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Let's click on new. I'm using VirtualBox. Thorin. Oh. S. Edu for education. This is an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. So... Down at the bottom down here, 64-bit. Next, we're going to give it four, four gigs. We can never get it up there. There we go. I should have just ty typed it in. I have a bad habit of using the slider. Um, click on next, create virtual hard disk now. Dynamically located. So we're just going to do, what do they say? 40. Oops. I need to see how much space I got left on my drive. I'm getting low. Yeah, we got enough. So we use 45. I got to clear off my hard drive. <laughs> I got to, I installed a bunch of games. I was looking at games and I, uh, took up half my hard drive with that. All right. So set the amount for the hard drive size, click create, go to settings. System, processor, give it two out of my four. Um, for virtual boxes is necessary unless it's uh, set for e UE5. Click on display, we're gonna give it 128. Enable 3D acceleration, storage, Live CD, DVD, choose file. All right, we're in downloads or OS education. Click OK. Click on start. View full screen. Switch this over. Stop the timer there. Try it out. Okay. Now that you're here, you have try or install Zorn OS. Try or install Zorn OS. Safe graphics mode. And if you have NVIDIA, they have NVIDIA support inside the uh, ISO image for your NVIDIA card. This isn't a VM, so I'm going to choose the top one. Okay, now I've run this for almost a year, so I'm going to go ahead and click out of this so we can get the uh, proper resolution size. All right, Let's open up the terminal here. X render S 1920 by 1080 is my resolution for this monitor. And I'm down to one monitor right now because my other monitor, for some reason, 
stop working. And it'll come up, flash, and then go black screen on when it's loading up the kernel. Now I have my other monitors. It's just that uh, I don't have the right proper DVI adapter to run those monitors. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And then I'll show a little bit as it's uh, installing. So it should be about 30 seconds of that. And then we'll be back to the desktop after it's installed. I will stop and show username, password, all that good stuff. So if you're new and you've never seen it done before, you're in for a treat. <laughs> all right, so go ahead and click install here, install here or click twice. I think I just launched it twice. Okay, so kind of got a blank screen here, so I'll click on continue for English. Oh, let's go full screen. Forgot to bring that up. Okay. English US, if you're in the if you're in the United States, English US for the keyboard. Continue. If not, you'll have to uh Scroll through and find out your uh, keyboard and language. Here is a screen for updates and software. Download updates while installing Zoran OS. That way it saves you time later. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. The software is subject to license terms included with its documentation. Some is proprietary. If you have NVIDIA and other devices on your system that will require that, it'll look for and install that for you. Minus the uh, NVIDIA drivers, by default, it'll uh, go to Nouveau, unless you, uh, way back at the beginning, I told you about scrolling down to the bottom and clicking install with NVIDIA drivers. That will automatically install the NVIDIA drivers for you if you have an NVIDIA card for graphics. Continue. Right now, Ubuntu drivers is uh, probing your system and looking for the best match drivers for your system. Also, if you're new to Linux and you want to get your NVIDIA, if you're on a different Ubuntu flavor or anything like that, and you want to get your NVIDIA drivers installed, you can open up a terminal and type sudo apt install Ubuntu dash drivers and it'll probe your system and find the best match driver for your video card. Um, installation type, disk, race disk and installs our OS. That's pretty much straightforward. There's something else is the advanced. You have to do, uh, set up your partition for booting root partition. And if you want to set up home or any other partition you want to set up, that's where you'd want to go. It's asking if these uh, settings are okay. They look okay to me, so click continue. Usually defaults the best if you're new. Unless you want something specific. And it's being me over here on the west coast. Los Angeles is close enough. All right. Now here's where you put your name in. Your device name, you can name it anything here you want to. Uh, Opti. Go for Optiplex. And you punch in your password here. Make sure it's super secure and safe. Um, I recommend not logging in automatically. And since you're not part of it, unless you are part of uh, an Active Directory, uh, don't tick that, or if you are, tick that, and then it'll uh, walk you through on setting that up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's done, uh, done installing. Click over here, you can see the files being copied, if you're interested. And we'll be back when it's done installing. And we'll go through all the programs that come, and we'll go through all the programs that are installed by default. I'll see you then. Okay, it is time to reboot this bad boy. Let's see what she's got.
after it reboots. And for all you new people, when it says eject the uh, medium, pull your USB drive out, and then continue rebooting. Okay, we're here on the login screen. I'll have to go in and fix the resolution again. Well, that was kind of weird. Um, do this one more time. Oh, now it's showing everything. I did an update and I finally got all the full graphics in there. Okay. Never mind. Got all the resolutions in there. Okay, now this is the tour. Shows you a little bit about how to uh, get around the system there. Now, if you want to change your appearance, you want to click on that, launch sword appearance, and by default, you get four. So, full gnome experience. And then a Windows like experience. The menu down here. You can also search from here. Get your desktops. I'm going to keep it on that. We're going to go with dark. Save my eyes. Uh, speed up the virtual machine. Zoran Connect is a uh, <clears throat> my friend for KDE Connect, I believe. And then there's all the programs. Learn more about installing. Installing your apps. Visit the help page. See what we got in here by default. And you know what? Let's go back to that. Um, go to this version. Make it a little easier on me. There we go. Okay, Audacity, Contacts, Weather, Clocks, Lincoln, Rosario for bringing your CDs, DVDs, photos, videos, and I believe that's a TV player. A document, scanner, text, calculator, builder, system monitor. Resources, CPU, network, and memory, terminal, utilities, backups, disk usage, dictionary, disk, image viewer, document viewer, archive manager, password and keys, logs, characters, and fonts. Escape to get out of that. Drawing. No, we'll get out of that. We don't need to read the help manual right now. Stop drawing. Drawing version 1.0.2. Simple image editor for Linux. And I don't have any images, so I can't show you how it works. Uh, help. Evolution for your mail. Cheese for your webcam. Firewall configuration. I'm going to turn that on right after you do your updates or before you do your updates, depending on whether or not you're going to get on the internet beforehand or not. All right, now she's firewalled. No external access unless call out for it. Fully eight. The uh, ebook reader looks like. Uh. Ritzing. Oh, that's cool. But I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> we're doing, uh, we're designing. Fritzing Fab is an easy and affordable service for producing professional PCBs from your Fritzing sketches. Oh, well, that's cool. I don't know, I don't know crud about that. G-Brainy. Welcome to GBrainy 2.4.2. GBrainy is a brain teaser game and trainer to have fun and to keep your brain trained in. It includes logic puzzles, mental, mental calculation, memory trainers, and verbal analogs. 
can comprise. Just in case the audio didn't go through on the recording. Um, welcome to G Comprise. You are running G Comprise for the first time. You should verify that your application settings, is, especially your language, is set correctly. You can do this. In the configuration dialog, have fun. Your current language is American English. You want to automatically download or update the following external assets with Gcomprise. Voice for language, full word image set. Your download finished successfully. The data files are now available. Restart any current active activity. Put your favorite activities here by clicking on the sun at the top right of the activity. Uh, top right, that's the hourglass. Top left. <laughs> Uh, Linux. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. Get out of this thing. Uh, Yo, Gibra. The um, anagram, the atomic, the brush, the marble. That's it for that. Holy by. See what that one's all about. Please select your default language. Quick start. Welcome to Calibra. First thing you should do is import some resources from the channels tab. The super admin account you created during setup has special permissions, special permissions to do, to do this. Learn more in the permissions tab later. Import. Go with the online studio because I don't have anything else for it. Free English with Hello Channel. Hello Channel playlist teaches conversational English, English for social life and grammar through a variety edu of educational shows for ESL learners. Oh, there's a bunch of different languages in here. Global Digital Library. Okay, Global Digital Library Book Catalog. And it's on English, American English, that is. Look on English. Now it's going to be a while, so I'm going to pause that or actually minimize it and we'll continue. Mm, K Touch, K Turtle, K Word Quiz, Labby. Welcome to Labby, a programming game. Videos get long, so I'm trying to bust through this. Uh. English support, LibreCAD, CAD program, obviously, LibreOffice, LibreCalc, LibreOffice Draw, LibreOffice Suppress, LibreOffice Math, LibreOffice Writer, Logsec Log Desktop, Main Menu, Finder, Mind Test, which is a mine, uh, Minecraft clone, Minuet, which is uh, for music, Muse, Muse Score. What can you use score? This wizard will set it up. Language, wordy, basic. Preferences have, set, six. Preferences have been successfully changed. Okay. Yeah, this is just showing you how to use it. So it's for uh, music composing. Ah, oh, it's cool. That's something my son would be interested in. One of my sons. Well, then inherited by musical talent. Well, I wouldn't call me having the talent. He has the talent, but I used to play guitar when I was a kid. He picked it up and picked it up faster than I ever did. Oh, and Toby, potato guys, a video game, power, power, power statistics. Romina, that's a uh, yeah, remote desktop connection, I believe. Yep. Oh, give me the old uh, menu. I'd give, well, that's off my computer. 
Uh, sound recorder startup application, Stellarium. It's a astronomy program. So you can see stars and solar systems, quasars, black holes, constellations, nebula. Uh, got step, the tour, tux math, tux typing, upgrade Zorn OS, software updater. Uh, software updates, software updater. Windows app support. So, go find something to download. Um, Where's the ding download at? <laughs> and we download it. It's in the all notepad next. That's going to take you straight to this. Okay, now if you're thinking about getting the Pro, uh, Pro versus Core, you get the Opera Suite, Zorn Connect, and Standard Desktop Layouts in both. You get plus six premium desktops in the Core and the Pro, professional grade creative suites of apps, advanced productivity tools, additional work, supports the development of Zorn OS. Now before, if I remember correctly, support for Zorn OS is what they had there, I think. So it seems like they might have changed it. I my memory, honestly, my memory's not as good as it used to be, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because there's a distribution out there. It's called Ubuntu. Ubuntu has had major uh, security privacy issues. One of them was Linux FX, and it still is Linux FX. It's the same team that does it. I even took a look at Ubuntu, and they had some uh, software installed that new users wouldn't even know that was there. Uh, mini D L D N A, D L mini D L N A, which is used as a uh, media server, but there's no GUI front end for it. There's only a configuration file combined with one of the uh, remote desktop remote connection programs that you can have that you don't need a local account to log into the system into the root part of the system. All you need is to know is the IP address of the machine, and you can get into it. Now use that, turn on mini DLNA, configure it right, and all your files and your folders have remote access. Now, Linux FX, which is Ubuntu, the same team, we're talking about the same people, their database for their users was breached. It took, on, it took the skills of pretty much a three-year-old to get into it. They're using a MySQL, uh, my SQL database, and it was pretty much right there for everybody to get into. The password was available to get into the database over public connections. So I would not recommend Ubuntu at all. Now, I've never heard anything bad about Zorn OS. I've seen large channels take a look at Zorn OS, and I've never heard anything bad about it. But if you're near Linux and you want to give Zorn OS, Zorn OS a try, they have the core, which is free, and then you can pay $48 to get the Pro. And also, the education version, which is the one that we're using right now, is also free for download. And it comes with the remote connection software for schools, so you can update, manage, and uh, share screens with your class, with your students. All that good stuff. So if you're new, thinking about it, put it on a USB drive, pick up or spin in a live environment, and if you have a, a spare system, install it on the spare system and give it a try. Now, as with any Linux distribution out there, it's going to wipe, if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to wipe your entire hard drive. If you want to save your Windows system, Look into how to dual boot 
and definitely back up your window system before you do this. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad day, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So that's it for Zern OS 17.1. And I thank you for watching. Um, and if you could take the time to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I've decided to try and get this channel monetized. At least some kind of uh, income coming in from it. Because, uh, yeah, things are getting rough. <laughs> Anywho, like again, I'd like to uh, remind you that I have another channel. It's called Off the Air. It's more of anything that I want to talk about, personal stuff, um, things I find on the internet, maybe even videos I'm looking at, uh, politics maybe, who knows, if you're into that kind of stuff, and you want to subscribe to that channel also, I'll put a link down below, and again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.